Hello again, St. John's families, and welcome back to our children's Lenten series as we explore the faces of Easter. Let's get ready with the prayer of three breaths. We're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. Take a good deep breath to calm our bodies and get our wiggles, and calm our wiggles and calm our thoughts. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Are you ready? Let's get started. Over the past few weeks, we have heard the stories of Jesus' life. We have heard how he was born a wordless child and the mother Mary was chosen to be the mother of God. How he went into Jerusalem and was lost and found talking with the rabbis in the temple. How he grew to be a man and was baptized by his cousin John. And God said that this is my son, my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. How he went into the desert and was tempted. And every time he was tempted, Jesus said, no. And we have heard about some of the work he did. How he healed people, body and soul. And how he used parables stories to teach. Jesus went to Jerusalem for the last time. It was the time of the Passover and the city was full of people from many different lands. They thought Jesus was coming to be king but they weren't paying attention. He wasn't riding on a great white horse when he came into the city. He wasn't being carried by soldiers. He was riding on a donkey and it wasn't even his. He had borrowed it. Still, that Sunday when Jesus came into Jerusalem, people waved palm branches, which were a sign of kings. On Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, Jesus went in the temple to teach. Every night he went back to the Mount of Olives with the Twelve, and the people watched him and whispered that the Mount of Olives was where angels were supposed to come down to make an army to drive away the Roman soldiers. One day, when Jesus was teaching in the temple, he said, Do you see that old woman over there? She's going to put some things in the money box. Listen, did you hear anything? No, she put the smallest coin there is in the box. That was all the money she had. Now, here comes a rich man. He has so much money to put into the money box that he had to have help to carry it. His money makes a huge clanging and ringing as they pour it into the box. Now I wonder, which one really gave the most? The old woman or the rich man? Some said the rich man gave the most. Some said the old woman. The temple guards said, on Thursday, we will take him. But on Thursday, they could not find him. That evening, Jesus and the Twelve hurried through the dark streets to a house. They climbed up the stairs to an upper room and shared their last supper together. After they had everything they wanted to eat, Jesus took some bread and gave thanks. Then he broke it and said something like, Whenever you break the bed like this and share it, I will be there. He also took the cup of wine and he gave thanks to God for it and said, 
whenever you share a cup of wine like this, I will be there. What was he talking about? He was always saying things like that. How could they know? Still, they did not forget. And later, they would understand. Suddenly, Judas got up and left, and the rest sang a hymn and then went to the Garden of Gethsemane on the Mount of Olives. Jesus wanted to pray. When he was finished, he joined the twelve. But Judas came out of the dark and greeted him. This was a signal for the temple guards to take him. They too came out of the shadows and took Jesus away with them into the night. The twelve disappeared into the darkness as well. All right, my friends, it is now your chance to have a conversation about what you have just heard with your mommies or daddies or grandmas or grandpa or brother or sister or aunt and uncle, whoever is watching the story with you. I want you to think, I wonder, I wonder what part of the story you liked best. I wonder what part of the story you, you think is most important. I wonder what part of the story is about you. Or what part of the story are you in? Um, that one can be a hard one. And last, I wonder if there's any part of the story we can take away and still have all the story we need. Hmm. You guys wonder about those things and talk with your families. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And I hope that you will join me again next week for a little more of our story of Jesus.